If you're gonna be moving your family to St. Louis, Missouri, and more specifically to the city of St. Louis, stay tuned because today we're gonna to talk about the nine things that you need to know before moving to St. Louis City. I'm Kevin Dewey, a realtor here in St. Louis, Missouri, and I specialize in helping families just like yours relocate from around the country to move right here to St. Louis, Missouri. So when I specify St. Louis City, I do that for a reason, because the city of St. Louis is separate from St. Louis County. So in St. Louis, it's kind of a weird setup. So we have St. Louis City, and we have St. Louis County, and the, com the combination of the two make up the St. Louis metropolitan region. And so the St. Louis, St. Louis City only consists of about almost three, a little less than 300,000 residents, where the metropolitan area consists of just shy of 3 million residents. So a big difference there. One of the first things you need to know about St. Louis City is that for years it's been known as the United States murder capital. So that's a pretty darn disturbing fact about St. Louis City, but the media gets those statistics just on the city of St. Louis, so that just under 300,000 residents there. And so per capita, based on just 300,000 residents, yes, that number is going to look astronomical. It's going to look really large compared to other metropolitan areas. And so, but when you put that number against the entire metropolitan area of St. Louis, where it's almost 3 million people, um, that number shrinks you know, considerably as far as like per capita. And so most of the murders are happening in St. Louis City in a specific number, handful of really bad neighborhoods and areas. And so, and that's even just, even when you're looking at the city, which is a small, smaller part of the entire metro region, you look at the St. Louis City and then you look at the areas where the, the crimes and the murders are happening. It's a very small segment of the population. But again, when you just look at the city of St. Louis and that, that population of like almost 300,000 people per capita, it's gonna look really bad. There are plenty of great neighborhoods in St. Louis City, plenty of safe neighborhoods in St. Louis City. You know, tons of people and families live in, the St. Louis, live in St. Louis City and feel safe and love their neighborhood and love their area where they live. So speaking of that, the second thing you need to know is that many neighborhoods in St. Louis City are in the middle of a resurgence. So it's not uncommon to go you know, through different neighborhoods, like just for example, the Grove, um, Tower Grove area, Dogtown, different areas like that where you're, kind of, you're seeing more and more of a resurgence. So it's not uncommon in those areas to see like, you know, three or four really nice houses and then a handful of houses that are in pretty bad shape. And so that's just kind of part of the process as far as like, you know, if you're wanting to move into an area that's undergoing a resurgence, kind of get in on that upswing of an area, you know, you're gonna have to put up with, you know, a handful of houses that still haven't faced that resurgence, you know? So, I mean, the whole definition of the resurgence of an area is area, an area that's coming back. And so there's still, are some areas that aren't quite there yet. So just be aware that if you're, if you're looking at a house that you really like and you're looking at the, all the pictures of just that house, you know, it's important to reach out to somebody like me that I can show you, I can like drive the street, you know, if you're not in St. Louis, I can drive the street and kind of show you um, based on video, like what the street looks like, what the neighborhood feels like, that kind of thing. So um, just did that for a couple recently who was moving here from Dallas. You know, I wanted to make sure that they got a good feel of the neighborhood. So I literally walked up and down the street with them on FaceTime and I also shot a video and sent it to them just because I wanted them to really get a good feel for the neighborhood and for the street where the house that they, that they were looking at was on. Um, they ended up buying the house and they're closing here in July and they're super excited. But I wanted to make sure that they had a really good idea of the neighborhood and the different houses, you know, what their neighbors look like and all that kind of stuff. Because a lot of times, you know, especially in areas of St. Louis City, the house that you're looking at may look great, but then, you know, you pull back and they're not going to show you that on, on, the, on the pictures, you know, on Zillow and Redfin and that kind of stuff. You know, you pull back and all of a sudden, like, the neighbors look like they haven't cut their grass in like a month, you know, or painted in 10 years, you know, and that kind of stuff. You know, the gutters are overflowing with stuff or whatever, you know, trash in the yard. You just never know. Just because the one house that was, you know, maybe, maybe a flip by somebody, by a real estate investor, they flipped it, that house looks awesome. You know, the two neighbors right next door may be, may be terrible. You know, so just make sure you're looking into those things when you're looking to move to St. Louis City because that's a factor, you know, it's a factor whenever you're moving here. And if you're not from here, you're not going to know the, the different ins and outs of the neighborhoods and kind of what the feel is and all that kind of stuff. Um, so that's why it's important to reach out to somebody like me that can help you do that. The next thing I want to make sure you understand and know before you move to the city of St. Louis is that neighborhoods, and this kind of goes along with the last um, topic we were talking about, but like neighborhoods can turn pretty quickly. Um, so again, back to the couple that moved here from Dallas, I wanted to make sure that they knew that once they turned out of their neighborhood, if they went left and they went you know, north, things were great. There was a whole strip where there's tons of restaurants and shopping and dining and all kinds of really, it's an awesome hotspot. But if they turn right, about three blocks down, just the neighborhood, the whole feel of the neighborhood totally changed. You know, so you go left, 
super you know populated area like hot spots people everywhere turn right there's boarded up buildings um, you know houses that are boarded up just things like that where you know graffiti on, on, on buildings stuff like that so just total different feel turn turning right you know turn right a few blocks turn left a few blocks um, and so just that kind of stuff is really important to note when you're looking into movement into the city of st. Louis the next thing to note is that most most houses in the city of st. Louis are going to have an alley um, and, and parking in the alley in a garage that's off kind of a detached garage off the house off the alley and so also the main streets in the city of st. Louis throughout the neighborhoods are going to have a lot of street parking so most a lot of residents are going to mainly like park especially like you know during the nice winter or during the nice uh, weather months when it's not winter time or maybe you know in, in the heat of summer they're going to pretty much park on the street just because it's convenient pull up to your house park get out and go inside um, versus pulling around back through the alley into the garage and then getting out and walking to your house but you know in the winter the garages are going to be obviously utilized more with the snow and freezing rain and that kind of stuff that we get here in st louis um, and then in the summer in the hottest you know hottest days during the heat and stuff you know keep your car in, in the shade and that, and that stuff um, in the garage but just just something to note there are not a whole lot of um, attached garages um, in the city of st louis houses you're gonna have to pull around to the back and also through the alley um, that's where you're going to drop your trash off. So most alleys are going to have like dumpsters in the back for recycling and then for trash. So you're just going to have to walk out, you know, put your trash uh, bags and stuff in the dumpsters in the alley back there. And so that's where the city, you know, um, sanitation and street department comes, um, picks up the, the trash and everything and hauls it away. There's going to be done from that alleyway. So some people don't like the idea of having an alley behind their house, you know, um, I don't know, just, just some personal preference. Some people don't like that. So I want to make sure that you knew that, you know, most, Houses in the St. Louis city are gonna have an alley with that kind of access to the back of the house that way. The next thing to note about St. Louis city and city living is that the houses are very close together in most parts of St. Louis city. Um, so in St. Louis city, like if you're, if you're like a very private person and you don't really kind of want to get to know your neighbors and um, you know, you want to be able to sit out in your backyard you know, sunbathing or whatever and not have it anybody, any eyes on you, St. Louis City is probably not gonna be the place for you. So St. Louis City, a lot of times, I can stand there between two houses, I'm 6'3", I can stand there between two houses and have my hand on, on you know, one house and the neighbor's house. Even like to be inside the house, you know, you're looking out your window and your neighbor's window is like three feet, you know, across the way, you can see directly into your neighbor's house. And so just something to, you know, be aware of as well. You know, if you don't like that close proximity, you know, a lot of times when you're on the front porch, um, in a city house, you can like, you know, turn to your left and just see, you know, front porch after front porch, just kind of going down the street. You know, you can see every single, you know, neighbor for about, I don't know, six or seven houses probably, um, you know, which some people love that. They love the fact that they can, you know, be on the front porch, see their neighbor, you know, down, you know, four doors and be able to yell, hey, what's up, Bob? How's it going, man? You know, people love that. Other people, they may not like that at all. So just know that if you don't like, you know, super close proximity, um, to your neighbors, St. Louis city living is probably not going to be for you. Speaking of the close proximity of the houses, you're also going to not have very big yards in St. Louis city. So like your backyard is not going to be very big in most St. Louis city neighborhoods. Um, just because of the close proximity of the houses, you've got the alley um, in the back, which is going to cut off, you know, the depth of your yard. And then the width is going to be just the, the you know, closest of your neighbor's yard. So again, super close, you know, smaller yards, that kind of thing. So just keep that in mind. One really cool thing about most St. Louis city neighborhoods is that most of them have like coffee shops or restaurants that are really close by and within walkable distance. If not walkable, that's, you know, a sh super short like drive, like two to three minute drive um, away. And I'm talking like really good, like St. Louis is an awesome foodie, foodie town. And so you're, I'm talking like when I say locally owned restaurants, I mean like really good, like top notch restaurants, great coffee houses. I just showed a house to a, to a, a couple um, off of Hartford Street and there was a Hartford coffee company that was literally three doors down right on the corner. And that when we were walking up, they're like, you know what, that may be the thing that clinches the deal because we're coffee fanatics. And I love the idea of being able to walk three doors down and get my morning coffee from a, from a local coffee shop. So it's, it's kind of like little things like that that you don't get you know, in suburban St. Louis and in, out in St. Louis County where you have such close proximity to walkable you know, restaurants and coffee shops, you know, bakeries, that kind of stuff. So that kind of thing is really awesome about St. Louis City. One big thing to know about St. Louis City is that the St. Louis City school system is not the best. And so actually it's, it's, it's really, it's pretty bad. And it's, it's getting better and I've heard some good things are happening. They've got better leadership. 
things like that. Good things are in place um, as far as St. Louis City Schools. But the majority of families, at least that I know, you know, that live in St. Louis City, their kids attend private schools. They don't send them to St. Louis City public schools. Um, so just make sure you check out whatever neighborhood you're going to be in. Make sure you check out the school district, take a good look, and also look at the proximity of the different, you know, public or private schools um, and the price ranges of, of the private schools, that kind of stuff. So just maybe consider that for your budget as well when you move here to St. Louis if you want to live in the city. And the last thing to know is that St. Louis City has a 1% earnings tax on city residents and people that work within the city. Um, so that's just something that you need to know. Just It's an extra expense. It's going to come out of your paycheck whenever you live in the city or if you work in the city. Um, but yeah, you know, so that goes to things like, you know, police department, uh, fire department, streets, parks, all that kind of stuff. It's, it really it goes back into, right back into the city and, you know, into a lot of, a lot of the things that make the city awesome. You know, we've got, the St. Louis City has great parks. Um, we've got a lot of free amenities, you know, the art museum, the zoo, uh, history museum, uh, Forest Park, Tower Grove Park, I mean, just tons of different great parks and great um, attractions within the city of St. Louis uh, that that 1% tax covers and pays for. So um, just something to consider, just an extra, extra, just a little extra um, expense that city residents um, have to pay, but just wanted you to be aware of it. So if you're looking to move your family to St. Louis, whether it be the city or the county or any other part of the metro area, make sure you reach out to me, shoot me a text, send me an email, give me a call. That way I can help you find the perfect house on the perfect street in the perfect neighborhood that's going to meet your family's needs right here in St. Louis. Thank you.